Where's Jules? Yeah. Jules is, uh... Jules is... Where? Jules is In dead. Vegas somewhere, <laughs> dead. Jules is on special assignment. All right, here we go. Welcome to Curiosity Public, Dutch. Angel Dylan. <laughs> ben Richards, The Butcher of Bakersfield. Seems seems different. It's, it's kind of weird. A little different. But anyway, things Smells look different. In here. Things smell different. <laughs> Definitely smell different smell right different. now. <laughs> and we're going to be doing a fresh crack. You guys like to do a fresh crack? Trademark. <laughs> of Talisker Port. Are we in Port? Rugi. To go? Yeah, I was not clear on the presenta- pronunciation of that. Oport? No, the, Oporto? Other, the other word. Well, this is a Talisker, I believe, like a special release, release uh, finished in port casks. And uh, Ben, it's not you, a special release. It's not. It's regular. It was uh, started in 2013. Look at the big brain on Dylan here. here. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna do a little fresh crack. We're gonna talk a little bit about it, and we're gonna see how it is. Now, 54. Sorry. I'm just like, I can't read, I can't talk. 45.8% alcohol, 700 milliliter bottle. Price point? 54 euros. Is that how much you got? I for? think I paid 55, 50, 54, 55 euros you for it. You got ripped off. <laughs> Where's your one euro? I didn't pay 65. I know that because it was 65 at that All other right. place. I have a problem here, guys. Uh, I know. Oh, yeah. I got it. Many Never things. Mind. So, this is a, an homage to kind of the history of how port. <laughs> Made its way to England, right? I guess. I don't know anything about scotch. Thank you. Nothing. I know this is a scotch, right? I know that. Look at these vessels. I mean, I can pour. There's no way I could spill this. I'm sure you'll find a way. I'm kind of scared. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's give this a fresh crack. Let's let's analyze it and uh, discuss it. How is the nose? It's not bad. A little more intense than I would expect. Uh, that sea- tea saucer is intense. Do you think mm. it's the vessel that's making the, the nose? F- the vessel, yes. I do think that it's contributing somewhat. Although I would say the balance is not as good as I would like. The port component is really overwhelming. Which, you know, in a lot of people, I think it would be uh, a Off-putting. good thing. No, it's a good thing for most people because what they're going to get is sweetness, right? <laughs> but... That's not what I care about. Well, either. last time I had port, I got sick. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> All right, guys, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Well, I was going to say that I'm not tasting it. While you taste, I'm going to talk. I'm getting, like, I'm assuming this is a peated scotch because I'm getting, like, peat smokiness and sweetness. Like, I don't think it's the sweetness is out of balance on the on the nose. Thank you, friend. But, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so i still think the port is really overwhelming at least in the fr- fresh crack there's something out of balance there's a little sharpness to it on the yeah. nose it's yeah. just kind of like but it's ethanol. changing so this is really this it needs is to open up fresh crack it does need to open up but on first taste i mean i really like the flavors here <laughs> you know non-age stated not particularly expensive but i mean the flavors work they're in balance i like that it's not overly sweet it is you're right i don't think it's overly sweet no i think it's very well balanced there's a decent mouth feel mm-hmm you know, it's incorrect. Kinda... Um, I think the balance is a little off. What's off? At least right now, the port component is just over here. You got the scotch over here. The peat is over here. It's not melding as well as I would like. Um, obviously, the finish is a little lacking. Um, that I this, agree. I agree. It's uh, they're disparate flavors trying to compete with one another, and that's. That's the stuff that I don't enjoy as much. Although I would say if we weren't thinking about this and we were watching, uh, what do you call it? Football? Television on, program. On TV. Then I think you wouldn't care, right? Okay, so background whiskey? Yeah, because people taste this and say it's sweet. Well, okay, so I agree with you on one point in that um, the dis- flavors are disparate. I don't know about the balance because I'm not getting as much sweetness as, as I would expect. Like, as what as much as I would expect as something that's been aged in port, but I agree with you. It's like, everything's a little bit, like, the, the peat's standing over there, the port's, like, kind of here, and then there's, like, some scotch, like, really dry finish over there, and they're just kind of in a room together, but not really... Well, but here's the thing is, I do think that they are balanced in the sense that they're both the same volume. 
but they don't really blend. Disagree. I think the pizza, the volume's up a little bit on the peat and not. Really? That's why no. I disagree with you about the sweetness. I, I get I a lot the of the sweetness. Peat is. I think they're leveled. They're just not the right tracks playing at the same time. Like they don't overlap properly. It's, it's, the way I look at this is the peat is what I would expect in a Talisker. So that is not very unique in that sense. I think you get the extra dimension of the sweet though from the port. I think the yeah. the, the base scotch is just not aged and it's not as elegant as I would like it to be. The okay. port is trying to cover up a lot of that so it's it's uh, you know smoothing yeah. out the rough edges but I think it gets you on the finish. That's where the age is lacking. The the scotch the, the finish ba- all I get is port. The base scotch flavor is like Newstead's base mix in and Justice for All. It's the, it's very not much there. It's it's lower than that, dude. <laughs> fair, fair. But the port and the peat are the two. Like, and actually, the, no, it's higher than that. Are Headfield's vocals and the snare from uh, Lars's drum kit? Lars was a. Uh... Really? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I should cut that. <laughs> yeah, you should. Oh no, I'm I'm leaving that in. <laughs> uh, overall, for a 50 euro bottle, I don't have a lot of complaints at this price point. Yeah, it's, it's hard to complain. Totally drinkable. If, you, if you're like, oh, I want to get a bottle to go to this party or a housewarming gift for somebody I don't really know that well, who kind of like scotch, this is like unique, nice, fits in that price range. What else are you going to buy for 50 euro? I think for the price, and I, this is starting to little open up a little for me, yeah. and maybe a drop of water or two um, would not hurt it, but um, I feel that I did not touch you. There was no assault. No touching. Um, but I feel like this. I feel violent. Everybody. I feel like everybody's doing a port age, sherry aid, PX sherry yeah, age. Because it's sweet. Right. This isn't bad, um, especially for the price point. But do you think it would taste different if I ate your nuts? I would say if you have a discerning palate, this is not going to be your jam. I think if you just like, you know, you you want something that is like broadly accepted as a sweet. Okay, no, no joke. Eat Ben's nuts and then try it. Uh, I don't like to eat. Try it. I mean, like the salty, something about it, like it really kind of... This, this is going to ruin... Salty nuts will really improve a flavor. It will. Mm. It really it gives it something to, to bounce off of. <laughs> <laughs> mm, no, it, does, it does nothing. It does nothing. But I will say, that, you know, as a, as a positive person, as you know, I'm always the positive one of the group. I will say for the price... You're getting bold flavors. Yeah. Right? Big You're flavors. getting really bold flavors. The peat's not too overwhelming. It's kind of the the, the signature talisker peat versus um, kind of the distillate uh, flavor profile. I think the port just adds a little bit more of that punch in terms of the sweetness. It's really rough for me. Um, you know, I think I, I, at this stage of my journey, at this stage of my journey, I'm looking for something that's more elegant. Yeah, it's, it's not balanced. very special, but at this price point, it's not offensive and it's. If drinkable. you brought this to a t- drinkable, yeah. yeah. If you brought this to a party, yeah, one party of your, Yeah, one of your parties with uh, you know the, the people, um, you know, I think you're fine. Yeah, I don't think people are going to complain about the flavors. I think the mix is going to be like the the volume. Yeah, if you're if you're sitting down to analyze a whiskey, you're not going to love this. Yeah, but. If you just want something decent to sip on, not too expensive, I think it's pretty nice. And then the Bukhar here uh, was just overwhelmed, and you loved this, right? That's I do. You like went it. out yeah. and bought it. I did. I yeah. I had a pour. I liked it. I honestly think so. Well, the I bottle we were that that was that had been open for a it while. It had been an open yeah. bottle, and I think it it was it was sweeter and more. The mix was better on that. Yeah. So did I think not, this I think yeah. this does open up well. It will Agreed. open up well. But for the fresh crack analysis here. We say, hey, not a bad, not a bad. Bold, like not, not a bad. <laughs> Bold, not a bad. sweet, uh, touch of peat, you know, and it's it's just really robust. I Probably would say. add some water, yeah. Mm. 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 All right, and on that note, uh, since Jules isn't here to take us out. Ben, take us out. Tip your bartenders. Uh, that's all I got. Stay curious. <laughs> Terrible.
that was perfect. terrible friend. that was pretty awful. sorry.